Hey guys, welcome back, or bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Burning Shadows is still super hype right now, um, and we're going to continue on with the with the uh, deck profiles. Now today we're going to be playing Galissapod, and it's all post rotation. I mentioned in that previous video. I know that all my videos will be post rotation, unless I state otherwise. But uh, let me see if I can actually find a deck. You know, if I can find any of my decks. Uh, post, post, glitz pod, GX post, here it is. Alright, cool. We're doing post rotation glitz pod. This is what post rotation glitz pod looks like. Before we get into the video, remember to drop a like. It's always greatly appreciated. Uh, I will be streaming pretty much every night on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of YouTube, but we're eventually going to be moving to Twitch soon. And, um, a couple questions. One, I don't have my other codes in yet. And I don't have my product for Burning Shadows in yet, so I'm very limited on Burning Shadows resources. What I could do, if you guys are okay with this, is record a bunch of uh, updated deck lists, deck lists from previous decks. So that's what Post that's what Guardians Rising does best for a lot of decks. Until I get the rest of my resources in, um, unless you guys do want to see like a bunch of like different decks from Burning Shadows only. I can do my best to try to get those out as soon as I possibly can. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but let me know what you guys think down below, because I still want to play Coco, Metagross, uh, Ninetales, all those decks update with Burning Shadows eventually. But I don't know if I should do it sooner rather than later. But uh, regardless, we're going to get into this deck. Now, Glisspot GX is a very interesting and a very good Pokemon. 210 HP Stage 1, always a high HP number for a Stage 1 Pokemon to have. Weakness of Fire is a little bit unfortunate because of Volcanion, and the 3 tree cost is not that great. But you'll see we can work around the tree cost very well in this deck. We have 3... Um, Three pretty interesting attacks. We have First Impression, which is our main attack of the deck. If this Pokemon, um, if this Pokemon was uh, on the bench and became your active during your turn, this, this attack does 90 more damage. So you, for one Grass Energy, you can very easily do 120 damage. Uh, very, very, very good attack. 120 damage is not something to sneeze at, especially since we have all these uh, increasers in the deck, and we'll talk about it in a second. Uh, Armor Press is 100 damage for Grass DCE, and you can reduce your damage up. Uh, uh, you can increase the damage you take next turn by uh, 20. Um, you can mess with the math a little bit there. 20 is a little bit small, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we can take advantage of that. And then Crossing Cut GX, 150 damage, your strongest attack. And um, if this Pokemon, uh, you can switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon when you attack. You have to do it, unfortunately, but um, it's a good attack. So that's Glisspot GX, and we're going to be pairing it with a bunch of other Pokemon and a bunch of other good attackers. Or what am I talking about? <clears throat> Sorry, I literally just woke up. We have a pairing with a bunch of things to support this deck. All right. So first things first, we are playing a two-two line of Fomantis Lorantis. This is post rotation. There's no evolutions, so we're going to be using Lorantis to increase damage. If you guys don't know, Lorantis has the ability to increase the damage of your Grass and Fire Pokemon's attack by 20. So now, if you have both down, your 120 attack switches up to 160. And that's before Choice Band, which can make you go up to 190. And the same with the GX attack, giving you 170 damage with just one Lorantis down, which is good for Lele's. And before I forget, actually, I have to switch this up. We are playing a four wind pods, and I'm going to switch them up to the new wind pod because I keep forgetting, um, which I like a lot more. Uh, oh, we have four reverses already. Handy. Um, all right, back to this. We are switching up to four wind pods. This is the wind pod wind pod. So during your first turn, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. It's handy if you lead with it, you can actually switch out to a different Pokemon because sometimes you don't want your wind pods to be knocked out. So it's handy to have different Pokemon in the active or like lay or something. So something with easy retreat costs, you know what I mean? Um, so we are playing four wind pods, um, three Gliss Pod GX, which we just talked about, and then one of the other Gliss Pods with Resolute Claws. I mean, I'm playing this other Gliss Pod just because it's a non GX attacker. Uh, you can get knockouts with it while only risking one prize. Armor means you take 30 less damage from attacks, which come really handy. And then Resolute G uh, Claws means if uh, you do 80 damage, plus another 70 more damage if they are an EX or GX. You're essentially doing 150 damage, like the GX attack, but as a regular attack. And that's before Choice Bands and um, Lorantis and stuff like that. So it's a very good attack. I like that attack a lot. And I, I'm playing a 1-0 just because I like having non-GX attackers in the deck in case of uh, blockers and stuff like that. We are playing two Tapu Lele, standard, and then a 2-2 two -two line of Remoraid Octillery. You guys know how much I love my Remoraid Octillery right now. I think it's very, very good in the current format. Um, so we're going to stick with it there. And yeah, other than that, we're just playing with support cards. One Field Blower. Uh, we're not really reliant on abilities in this deck. 
Uh, we're playing against Garbodor, we usually get our knockouts anyways without abilities. So I'm only playing one field blower for the time being, just to get rid of stadiums and stuff like that. One rescue stretcher, this could become revitalizers, but I found myself wanting to shuffle Pokemon back in the deck more often than putting them back into my hand, which is why I'm playing one rescue stretcher over revitalizer right now. Um, this deck is all about denying knockouts and putting the Pokemon back into your hand, so you can constantly put new po new Glissapods active. So if you have a Glissapod active that you uh, a Glissapod active, but you can't use the big attack because it was active already, you can super scoop up to make a new Glissapod active. You can Ace Rollo to make a new Glissapod active, or you can manually retreat, which is what we'll be talking about here. So we are playing a four line of super scoop up for that exact reason. Also handy for Lele's getting them off the bench um, or just reusing your Lele's. So I like four scoop ups in this deck, four Ultra Balls. I believe three Ace Arolos, we, same thing with Super Scoop Up. Ace Arolos is good because if you take damage, you can just put them back into your hand and then reuse and recycle, and it's a lot of fun. I like Ace Arolo. One Bridget, because basics. <laughs> Excuse me there. Whew. One Bridget is because, you know, it's a broken card with Lele. Uh, three Guzmas, it's another way to switch between your two Galispods. Lysander effect, very strong card. Three Ends for Sycamore is my staple right now. Uh, three choice bands. I do want to bump it up to four, but deck space is a problem. Uh, although we can mess around with this line a little bit. We are playing three float stones. I actually really like three float stones. At first I was, I was playing two, but I found myself that having a uh, super scoop up into acerolas into having float stones for retreating is really, really handy. Now this is very interesting to me. I am playing four, uh, DCE and I believe seven grass, eight grass, eight grass. Now, I do think the eight grass has to stay so you can constantly get grass energies very easily and there shouldn't be a worry there. The DCEs though, because your main attack is only one grass energy, you could probably cut maybe a couple DCEs. There's a couple other cards you can play in this deck. Um, I personally like four DCEs because all of your Pokemon have a three of uh, has a two retreat cost except for the Glissapod GX. So having these four DCEs not only give you more attack options, but also more retreat options. So that's why I play the, the um, four DCEs, but I have to say this. But that's gonna be the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and get a couple of games. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry, I had to go take a phone call. And because of that, I lost my game. So I had to leave the house and take check some stuff. But whatever, it's okay. We are back now. I have to edit now. Eh, I don't like editing. I don't like cutting things out because then I have to remember. <laughs> It's alright though, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Alright, let's see if we can have a good game here. Okay, the lead is okay. I mean, the lead's actually really nice, now that I'm looking at it. We can put down a Bridget. Lele into Bridget, fill up the bench, and then Sycamore the following turn. What are we playing against? Something with belts and bands? This could be Coco. Could be a couple of things, we'll see. Let's see if we get off this though. S stretcher, ooh. What is this? I don't know what this is and it bothers me. I don't like not knowing things. Uh, I wanna keep this around. I wanna attach it to a Lele. All right, hopefully Lele and Bridges in the deck. That's the goal right now. So we have a Lele, but do we have Bridget? That is the question we do. All right, cool. So now we can put down a bunch of um, wind pods. I don't know what this deck is, so I don't know how many Lorantises I should put down, but I'll put down one for now. Oops, that is not what I wanted. That'd be awkward if I grabbed it too. I'm so used to getting the first supporter. I thought I think I talked about it last time, right? But usually the first supporter is Bridget because of alphabetical order. But now Ace Rolls is a thing. Let's do one, two, three. All right, hopefully this is the right number of cards I should grab. We'll go ahead and touch the DC here. And we will switch because of Wimp Out. And we will pass. All right, we'll see what we can top deck. Unfortunately, we're losing our only stretcher, but hopefully that doesn't come to bite us in the butt later. I mean, we have a really good setup for turn one. Our bench is completely full. All we need to do now is draw the right cards. Uh, grass energies and ways to get Gillis pods, Octillaries, Lorantises, like it's all very easy. I want to see what he's playing though. He's starting with Solandit. Cause like, I first thing I think is think of is Muck, right? But he but he's playing Belts. Oh, he's playing Darkrai. Okay, I see. So he's using Salazzle as a way to get a free knockout. I don't know if I like this. It's it's like to me this deck is weird, right? People want me to play like a straight Darkrai GX deck, but Darkrai GX is a weird Pokemon because it's a GX attack is cool. You get a free knockout, but. 
I don't know, like, it's, it's, oh, it's a GX attack. You only get to do it one time. So, is it really that good? <laughs> Lily turn one for seven. That's pretty decent. I'll appreciate any Lily that gives you, like, that draws you seven cards, because it's the same thing as playing a Sigamar. Excuse me, most of the time I don't like playing it though. Was that Rebirth or did he just manually do that? Oh yeah, he just manually, okay, okay. That was Rebirth. And then the attack itself only does 160 damage, right? Uh, if you have, if you use Dark Claw, it does 130 and it's not affected by resistance. So you can do 160 with Choice Ban. Is that worth it? Because you're doing 160, that doesn't knock out a dang thing, bro. That's pretty bad in my opinion. I could do the damage. There's no real reason for me to scoop up. Because I don't have a Gliss Pod down yet. So I'm going to ignore the scoop up and just stick them more here. See if we can get some Gliss Pods, Grass Energies. No Grass Energies yet, but we could potentially get them right now. Um, I don't want to touch this DCE. I can Ultra Ball for another Gliss Pod just to empty my hand a little bit. Uh, I don't really need to play the Guzma right now, so I'll drop the Guzma. Oh, and the DCE, which I shouldn't have done. I was thinking about dropping the Sycamore. But we're fine. I will grab... Let me think about this. Choice ban means 150, 170 with one Lorantis. So really, Lorantis doesn't do much until I put down two. Because I'm only hitting for 150, 170. Uh, I mean, I guess he has Lele, but it doesn't knock out Darkrai. That's something to keep in mind. I'm just gonna grab another Gliss Pod for now, because it's important to keep them, uh, keep them around. Now I need Grass Energy off of this Octillery. Let's see what we can get. We whiffed grass completely. This is why this is why I play eight, but even eight is not enough apparently. Uh, I couldn't attack. I can't attack this turn. I'm gonna attach a DC to just a Pokemon for now. Um, this is unfortunate, but what can you do? We'll go ahead and just energy drive for some damage. Once again, like I said, unless he plays Kakui, he can't get any easy knockouts, and it's hard to stream like Kakui without without Seeker. It looks like he is playing post rotation so far, but it doesn't mean anything really. So now he can do his GX attack if he really wants to. Um, but, oh, but I guess with the poison, oh, I guess it makes sense, huh? With poison and burn, you are hitting 190. Uh, okay, that does make sense at the very least. But uh, I don't know, is it worth? It might be worth trying. I didn't even, honestly, I completely forgot about the poison and burn damage itself. Uh, I do like Salazzle for that reason. But it has the same issues with Muck for me, right? Because Muck is just, to me, a better attacker. <laughs> Because it's 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 dark DCE, so it's still just two attachments, and then you hit for like 210 with choice band instead of 190. So like to me, it's like eh, you know what I mean? It's like it's up there. But we got the damage off that we need to get off, which is handy. And then we do get a knockout if we get a grass energy with just this one glow spot because it has the DCE attached already. And he can rebirth, but once again, he's constantly going to be needing to attach. Uh, two times, so Max Luxor has to come through really clutch for him if he wants to make this work. He's an instruct for one. People were saying that I should play um, I should play uh, this in my in my Guard of War deck. I don't know. I, I saw Dennis's video over it. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of the idea of the deck I should say. I think I think it's cool. I think it's fine. Uh, I rather I'd rather play I'd rather play um, Octillery. It just works out better for me. I have a lot more success in doing Galade because that means I'm way more consistent. Also, our decks are inherently different, so there's that as well. Let me get down another Fomantis. I don't need another one of you. I do want to play N, I think. So let me go ahead and get down another Fomantis. Do I have both Lorantis? I only have one Lorantis, so I have to get the other one off the bench, off the prizes, but hopefully I can find it off the prizes. Uh, we are going to play Octillery here for three, and then I'm going to play N. Grass, there we go. We got our grass. We even have our choice band, so we do get our knockout here. We got our knockout regardless. So I'm not even sure if I want to attach a choice band there. So I think I'm going to attach it here instead. I'm going to field blower and then play N. Get rid of these uh, float stones because you attach them all at once for some reason, unless he plays multiple float stones. Um, let's play our N here. We got our Lorantis down as well, which is handy. We don't have another one in the deck, or else I'd Ultra Ball for it right now. More DCEs, whatever. I need Grass Energies more than any DCEs. I'll launch everything else for now because I don't actually have to get that other Gliss Pod right now. We'll just Armor Press for Knockout. 
By the way, I'm pretty sure that's how this works, but because I brought him out during, like, whenever he got a knockout, if I bring on Glispod, my first impression would do max damage. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. We whiffed the uh, Lurantis off the prizes. So now we have to get another prize to hopefully get the Lurantis. So I'm trying, I'm going to try to get it off that Lele because we do have Guzma. So we will get a knockout on the Lele because of the Guzma. Restoration. I, I wish, I miss Rebirth. I like Rebirth more. So my car people called me, but they didn't leave a message. I had a lot of people call me this morning. I have like job applications call me. Uh, my mother called me due to some, for some house stuff. My father called me. He's in Malaysia. My father works out of, uh, uh, across the seas. So he called me because he wanted me to take care of some life stuff as well. He doesn't get a knockout here, so we're good. Because he can only hit 190. Uh, assuming he has choice band too. But we will get our knockout because he can't do anything. And then burn, we can just boom, there we go. We'll knock out our Lele here. I should probably build this and try it, but it's essentially muck, but without the muck, without the muck. So I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I could super scoop up. I don't really see a reason to because we're gonna play Guzma, but it is a thing I could do. Uh, anything else or anything else really want to play? I can hold on to everything. How many float stones are left? I know I play three in the deck, right? So I think there's one down here. If there's only one, I feel safe attaching this. And yeah, I'm just gonna Guzma. We'll get our knockout. Uh, it became active this turn because we're at Guzma. Boom, bam, exactly 170 because of Lorantis. Easy, Lele, knockouts, boom. Give me Lorantis here so I can get an easy Dark Ride no knockout for game. Lorantis? Dang it, man. This happens to me a lot too. I, I, this is why I originally played a 3-3 line of Fomantis Lorantis. I always wanted to have two down for these matchups, but I always seem to miss it. But it doesn't matter because I can just GX attack for game. All I have to do is land a scoop up. Um, if I don't land the scoop up, I manually attach and retreat. So I have I have ways, but I can just GX for game now because I am hitting. Ooh no! Oh wait a minute! I can just attach and GX attack for game. Never mind. Forget I said anything else. I can just GX attack for game here because I am hitting 190, I believe 180. No, one 210 with GX attack. And now I'll be knockout. He doesn't get a knockout. Oh well, never mind. Now I have to get DC or choice band or scoop up because if I land scoop up, I can move the uh, choice band to the uh, to the benched uh, Glispod. We have Guzma as well, and uh, Guzma does not win me the game, but it becomes close. Dark Thieves, whatever, doing 130, not a big deal. All right, let's see if we can get it off of the Octillery. DCE, there's a scoop up. Let me just play the scoop up to see if I can land it. Because if I landed, that's game, and that's game. This becomes my active for the turn, so I could do maximum damage, but uh, Choice Ban into GX Attack is enough for winning me the game, so we'll, do the, we'll just do that instead. Uh, here, Octillery. Take take some take some fish, fish is tasty. Two hundred damage, not two hundred and ten. But regardless, there you are, buddy. Uh, there is game one. That is a deck I want to try playing. I'm just not too sure how I would go about playing it. Because obviously, as you could see, like hitting that small number is not good in a format where there's a lot of high XP Pokemon. Whenever it's that demanding, it's a very demanding attack. In a in a very demanding situation, you know. And I just like, I think Muck is just better. <laughs> He's just so much HP. Um, so much HP. Unknown Unity. Call that coin flip, baby. All right, bro, anytime, anytime. I got stuff to do today. I have to do a video interview because your boy might finally have gotten a job. Um, guys, by the way, Yesterday was like a really good day for TCG, but One Piece was supposed to come out yesterday and it didn't. It didn't come out till like four in the morning. Luckily I was awake because I was editing the video for, um, for um, what's it called? For Gar uh, Gardevoir that you guys saw yesterday slash today. Um, ooh, this hand is weird. Do I like this hand? I think I like this hand. We can get, we can get turn one Bridget. Luckily, and then we can uh, we can go from there. Bridget gets me two wimp. I can actually get my full bench here if I wanted to, which I probably am going to do. We will see. I don't like only having two wimp pods down at once, but I guess realistically you only need two wimp pods because if one gets knocked out, uh, you can put down another one the following turn. So I think I'm gonna get wimp pod, wimp pod, Remoraid. Oh no! Oh oh! Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I was, I was so, oh man. Okay, hold on, hold on. That never happened. Ignore that that happened. That didn't happen. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Thank you for the victory, bro. I appreciate it. I do. Oh, that would have been really embarrassing if we kept playing. <laughs> that would have been really embarrassing if we kept playing. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I freaked out so hard. I grabbed my head. I was like, no, don't do this to me. Why did I do that? That's how you know. That's how you know I'm exhausted. Oh, man. But I got stuff to do today, so I got to record this because you guys know how it is. New set means two weeks straight of uploads. It was supposed to be one month, but the last set m made it a lot easier to upload one month because there's so many different decks. Ooh, out of all the Pokemon we could have grabbed, this is the one that we have as our opening. Awkward. But it's not the worst. We can attach a Grass Energy and Retreat. We'll see what we're playing against. That's what matters the most. Uh, hopefully, we can dodge all fire matchups because fire matchups are just pretty much not all. I mean, you have you have plays around it. You just have to have a perfect bench. Ooh, um, if this man playing Forest, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess it kind of helps us. Forest is gonna be banned, and that's pretty dope to me. Ooh, DCE. We can attack this turn. I do like attaching DCE more than I like attaching Grass. We'll end. We're gonna give him a smaller hand, but a refresh. It's uh, unfortunate. We did get Wimpod though. I'll take that. Unfortunately, our hand is pretty bad other than the Wimpod. But if he doesn't do anything next turn, we win, right? We need a top deck of grass, or like a way to get grass. That'd be ideal. More things that can bother me. He didn't play that forest last turn. That would have been pretty cool. So then I could lose this uh, thing in my hand. Shaman. Shamans are easy snipes for me. Shamans are cool because I don't even have to play Lorantis to get a knockout. Uh, Decidualize, I'm never going to get a knockout from full. So I shouldn't. I don't have to worry about playing Lorantis down this game as far as I'm concerned. Except for Lele's. So I might just play one Lorantis. Okay, this is actually a really good top deck. I'm not going to lie. Um, we will do this. We will do this. I will go ahead. Oh, I put myself in delinquent range, so hopefully... Actually, I didn't because I'm taking a prize here. Uh, oh, was, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. All right, cool. we're good. We're good. We're good. Super Scoop Up's pretty handy as well, so that way I don't have to lose that DC. But I'm probably not going to play it because that puts two cards in my hand. Um, unless, of course, Octillery completely whips for me. This man is super duper stuck, bro. And it's really unfortunate for him. But I'll take it. We'll do this. He never got damage on me. Which is annoying because I can't ace a Rolla. But we'll see if we can get off Octillery's here. We did get our Grass. We did get Fomantis. Um, if I can land this scoop up, that would be ideal. Because I can put Lele back into my hand and keep it there. Nice. So we can just go into Glisspod. Do maximum damage. I do want to put down another Wimpod. So I guess I do want to play a Drop Supporter this turn. Let's play Lele. I guess I'll play Sycamore. Could bridge it, but Sycamore is fine, right? Because I can Ultra Ball for another Wimpod. Losing DCE, but I don't really need it. Once again, DCEs are niceties. They're not necess they're not necessities. We'll put down Wimpod number two. I could also put down Lorantis, but we don't really need to right now. Boom and Sycamore for seven. Another win pod, uh, two, I have a fully set up bench now. Because I only need one Lorantis to win this game if I want to knock out Lele's. But look at this. All the Gliss pods in the world. Give them to me. Give it to me, baby. And we'll go ahead and knock this man out with first impression. I could have used a second attack. I should have used a second attack because it got me a knockout. Uh, I didn't realize I had DC attached to that one. I forgot that's what I did last turn. Or, yeah, last turn. So, because it would have been better because I take 20 less damage from attacks. It doesn't matter in the end, though. We have Guzma. We can knock out Shaman um, because we have Octillery with Floatstone. So we should be good for next turn as well. And there we go. It's another victory. All these dubs right now, bro. All right, let's see if we can keep, take, keep taking these uh, quick quick Ws because I want this. I can actually get this. I'm probably going to do that. We've been playing a lot of ladder. I didn't realize. I, get, I guess it's not that I've been playing a lot of ladder, but because I've been having a lot of win streaks, it made laddering a lot easier. So I guess that's the reason behind it. Dude, this new ladder system is great, though. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see if Tails does not fail us. I need to change this coin, because I actually like this deck. Oh, Tails fails us. Every time I say it out loud, it fails us. I got to be careful not to say it out loud anymore. But I just I just can't help myself, man. Tails shouldn't fail. It's really simple. Also, sorry so much for the audio lately. Um, once again, you guys know that I'm using a different mic, because my old mic broke. 
Um, but more importantly, my computer's on like the, the weird fritz lately, and now the thing is as loud as ever. The fan for the computer is as loud as ever. So that's a little bit obnoxious. Let's see what I'm playing against, because my opening hand is not that great, depending on what he's playing. Bulu, 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 Bulu. I don't beat Bulu if he sets up next turn, which means I have to top deck a Pokemon. And hopefully it's something that, you know, won't make me lose the game. Guzma. I'm gonna bring out Grubbin. Just for stall. And I'll pass. Because I have the stall here. I'm in a bad position. It has a two retreat cost. I don't want him to, you know, pull off a turn one Vicavolt and then have to use and then use the Vicavolt to win the game. Or turn two Vicavolt, I should say. Let me actually increase the computer. There we go. Now I can actually see the stuff going on my screen. Yeah, there's Skyla. So he could have turned uh, he could probably do this turn one thing. Oh no, he's gonna get switched. Okay, if he can manage to pull off this turn one thing, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad if he manages to pull this off. I'm so glad so many people are, in the, are playing post rotation on the ladder though, because it just makes things easy for me. All right, so we have we have glow spots, so now I shouldn't be too worried. Although I am in range of being knocked out, it's not the worst thing in the world. A little choice band here, just to get off more damage. Unfortunately, I have to start manually attaching because I'm really in, I'm in a really bad place right now. Hopefully, he doesn't have choice band. Well, first impression, do 60 damage, and then next turn we should win the game. Uh, if he, or not win the game, but get a knockout. <laughs> There's Lele, play N. Give me the N. You know you want to play N. You know you have good cards in your hand. We all know it. Unless you play more Skylos. I wonder if Vikabulu post rotation is good. I'm pretty sure it is good, because there's not too many things that change. Oh god. This might be GG. This might just be GG. If he has the Vikabulu in hand, it's GG. And I'm not happy about that. Oh, he's gonna have Heavy Ball. Don't have Rare Candy, bro. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Don't have the rare candy. Don't do it. Have the charger bug, but not the rare candy. No. 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 <laughs> oh, man. That's ah, game. Because he can hit 180 for knockout. That's unfortunate. What can you do, though? We'll just go ahead and move on. Well, apparently today is full of interruptions. But we're back. Ugh. What a rough morning. Uh, regardless, though, we are here to play another game. Hopefully, hopefully, we can have a good game here because this is our last game. Dude, I've been recording for, I don't know how long the video is for you guys, but it's about 50 minutes for me. Because I keep getting interrupted. I have to do stuff, and people apparently don't respect personal space. And people keep coming into my room while I'm trying to record. It's really funny, but it's whatever. Not a big deal, not a big deal. That was my hand. My hand was good if I had a basic... My own, now my hand is hand. Now my hand is bad. Actually, no. We have Bridget. Never mind. It's a good hand. It's actually a really, really good hand. Um, yeah, this is a good hand. Actually, I don't know what my opponent's playing though. I guess we'll find out here. We're going first to Tyranator. Cool. Always appreciating fighting the auto loss. Um, I need two of you down, and I need one of you down. Because in this matchup, I have. To, oh, I should have probably checked my deck if I had all the Lorances I needed though. I have to hope he doesn't get a knockout, but he's probably going to get a knockout. Oh, there's the auto loss. Okay, check it. So I put down two Fomances because in order for me to hit 190, I would need to have two Fomances down. Uh, next turn, I have to get a... Uh, what's it called? A Galissapod, Lorantises, and Choice Band, and then I can get knockouts from full and be able to retreat. So I need Flowstone as well. So this Sycamore and Toctillery has to be the greatest thing of all time. Maybe I can top deck an Ultra Ball so I can Octillery for a lot, but... I can get those really big knockouts. I just have to have a really good setup. If he puts down Fighting Fury Belts, then we also need Field Blower, and that's gonna make things even more awkward. Also, I have to Guzma if if this if um uh, he's gonna turn on Kiabi. Okay, we're we're fine then. Uh, I have to Guzma if he brings out something threatening. I would think if he brings out Baby Bulk, because Baby Bulk I don't want to knock out. I want to knock out everything else but Baby Bulk. All right, so he's giving us a small chance here. Turn one Kiawe, completely set up Tornado, it's whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, field Blower, oh, I wish you were something like that wasn't that. Drawing one, is it worth? I don't know if drawing one is worth. I want to knock this out, so I want to get a Floatstone. We're going to Sycamore. I don't know though. Seven cards into becoming four cards means I have to play three cards. Ideally, I want to play three cards. I'm going to play Sycamore. Ah, I don't know if this is a good play. 
but we'll see what we can do. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it was so close. It was really close to being a good play. But we have we have options. We have we have options here. We have the choice band. We have Ultra Ball for Lorantis. We have a Grass Energy to attach. Um, so we actually can we can actually GX for five or Octillery for five. Well, both Lorantis are in the deck as well. Okay, we have chances here. Uh, I did evolve because of the um, retreat cost is the exact same regardless. We will attach. All right. Octillery, I need you to hook me up here. I need you to hook me up. Another Lorantis and a switching card. Oh my god. If I land heads, we get a knockout. Can please, 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 please. No! No! I got so excited. If we landed heads, we got a knockout. Oh man. That's unfortunate, bruh. We got a knockout if we landed heads. Do you know how how sick that would have been? That would have been dope. I'm not going to attach Choice Ban. I don't want to attach Grass Energies. I, I can just do everything next turn. Although I do want another Lorantis right away. Man, if we landed a heads, we would have knocked out Turtonator from full, and I could have showed you guys what I meant by 50-50. If that was a Float Stone, ah, man. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. If we just landed heads, we would have gotten knocked out, because we have Lorantis down. Um, Whatever. Because I might want to get Lele next turn as well. We're just first impression. That way we don't have to get Lele next turn. But he'll knock us out here and he'll get two prizes. But I get two prizes in return. So I guess in the end it's not that it's not a huge deal. Uh, field Blower, that's why I kept the Choice Band in hand. So now we have Choice Band for next turn. So we'll still get a knockout regardless. He's on a Sycamore. Uh, he didn't play Switch, so he is planning on attacking this turn with this Turtonator, which is good. Good for me. Good for me. The thing that's not good for me is the fact... Nope, that's not good for me. But actually, that's not too bad for me because he is still in range of being knocked out. Because we didn't. So, okay, I'm going to test this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right by saying that this increases the damage output by doing it like this. This is a this is an auto loss anyway, so it's worth testing out now, I guess. <laughs> you know, if you want to put that logic into it. Let me get another Lorantis down. Um, and then... Oh, I want to get down a Wimpod, actually. Do we get a knockout? No, we have to hit... 180. So right now we hit only 170. So I have to get down another Lorantis. Assuming that the attack increase exists. Alright. Show me the juice. If I can get an N here, that'd be pretty nice. It's not the N I was looking for. Um, play this. You are useless right now. Oh, I really hope this works. First impression, max damage. It doesn't work. Okay, I was lied to. I was told by someone that it did work. Uh, well, auto losses are auto losses. <laughs> but you guys got to see what I meant by the turn one play. I could have kept playing that game out, but I actually have to go do stuff today. Uh, man, if I landed that heads on scoop up, that would have been pretty much game. He would have been so stuck. He would have been so stuck if I did that. I guess he could have played Volcanion, but Volcanion wouldn't have gotten a knockout because we have so much HP. Uh, I'm very happy with this deck. I like the way it plays a lot. There's still a lot to be worked on. Let me know what you guys think about the deck down below. Uh, I do want to play less Grass Energies, but every time I do, I keep whiffing Grass Energies. Um, you guys can experiment with it. Maybe it's just my really bad luck. Um, uh, is there anything else I like and don't like? People people tell me the Zoark build is good. I don't like the Zoark build. Uh, if I were to play the Zoark build, I would cut this down to a 3-3 line. And play a 2 2 line of Zoark and cut down the Acerola or Scoop Up or something like that. That's what I would do. But I personally don't like it because Lorantis is so good in this deck. Uh, Zoark is not nearly as good as it used to be because Zoark was really good in the Garbodor meta, but the Garbodor meta is pretty much gone. I feel like because there's a lot less items in the format than people play in most of their decks. Um, having Zoark break is cool, but then you're forced to play Grass Energies and you don't play Grass Energies or D Dark Energies and you don't play Dark Energies, you want to play Grass. And DCEs. I don't know. The Zorak build is unique. I don't. I might play. Let me know if you guys want to see me play the Zorak build at some point. I don't know how I like it. I don't like it. As, I can tell you right now. I'm not gonna like it as much as I like this build though, because it's a little bit less consistent for me and doesn't do what I want to do. Like Russian is interesting, but between Ace Roll and Scoop Up, you should be fine for the most part. At least that's my opinion. Because so you have to play so many more choice bands. That could be different, man. It would be pretty different. Regardless, that's that's my opinions on deck. You can have your own. If you don't like my opinions, that's fine. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Let me know what decks you want to see me play in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.